<laughs> so I'm going to keep these Pikmin buried for now, because I don't need red Pikmin right now. And uh, they will eventually grow into flowers if you leave them planted. But right now I'm focusing on the yellows. <laughs> and there's some uh, there's some stuff that I need to get with the yellows. There we go. need the bomb rocks from here. Pick up the rocks. Okay. We good? No bombs? Okay. So these these metal cans have bomb rocks in them. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's where we're going to be finding the uh, majority of our bombs is going to be in these these little cans. We're not going that way yet, because that way is dangerous. Um, I'm going to go back. Back around. Unfortunately, Leaf Pikmin are slower than you. Uh, so... I have to wait for them to catch up to me sometimes. Alright. I'll get rid of this bomb. Well... Oh, come on. They're supposed to separate. Okay. Stop it. Oh, there we go. Actually, wait, there's a... There's a yellow 20 up there. Yeah, these little bulb Pikmin are are just the uh, intermediate stage between leaf and flower. take these reds and we're gonna kill some things all 
All right, let's go. Murder. It's time for murder. Time for murder. Oh, I don't have enough reds. <laughs> that will not go well if I try that. Thankfully, most of my reds are flowers. Means they are very powerful. Got him. Reds are going to be our most abundant Pikmin. But that's okay, because they're also going to be subjected to the most danger. <laughs> Alright. Um... What else? Okay, there's that. The, the bolt from there. Oh! Sheer grubs. Sheer grubs suck. I don't like them. They I have a habit. The other one that you didn't like. The oh, Wallywogs? I don't like yeah. Wallywogs either. But the the thing about sheer grubs is that they they have this habit. Okay, that one yellow can come. <laughs> um, sheer grubs have this habit of uh, so so normally if you if uh, an enemy like eats a Pikmin, and, and it has it in its mouth, um, and it's about to, like, kill the Pikmin, you can save the Pikmin by killing the enemy. Um, Sheer Grubs like to just kill Pikmin anyway, even, even if you kill them uh, before they manage to kill the Pikmin. They'll just become invincible until they kill the Pikmin and then kill it. Which is not my favorite, as you may imagine. I mean, think about how the Pikmin feels. Ah, uh, we lost another one. So this is what I said about multitasking, because I've I've just been having these guys bash down this wall while I've been doing other things, and that's that's something that you kind of need to do if you want to uh, do play this game most efficiently is just like have your have your Pikmin do certain things that you can just leave them alone to do while you do other things. We're going to get the radar today. The radar? Yeah. Come on. 
The radar is useful because it tracks parts. Hmm. All right, so that means that noise means that we've just uh, finished breaking down that wall. You can you can tell right away the uh, the difference that the uh, that that trick that throwing trick makes. Mm -hmm. So putting multiple or putting more Pikmin than is required on an object um, just means you carry it faster. Yeah. And it also depends on whether you have flower or leaf Pikmin on it, because flower Pikmin also move faster. This important part can detect the locations of other missing parts. The radar will be added to my monitor, which I can press Y to view. C zooms in and out, blah blah blah. So, now we have a map. And we can see the, the like, shaded parts there are water. Uh, we can't go through, well, okay, Olimar can go through water. Um, Pikmin cannot, so we're going to have to deal with that when it comes up. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do this next bit, but I will see anyway. I generally don't like having 100 Pikmin out at once, just because it's a little, uh, it, it gets hard to control them all. Yeah. Usually the only time that I have 100 Pikmin out at once is if a bunch of Pikmin are doing something else at the time. That's fair. Last one. Well, that's, that's annoying. Alright. Well, if these guys can't get back to the onion in time, I'll just, uh, I'll call them back. Any, any Pikmin that are left out in the field, um, even if they're, like, carrying something or doing something, uh, they will die at the end of the day. And that's not good. Um, if they're following you, they're fine. If they are, like, in the landing zone area, they're fine. Um, but if they're out in the field, they will die. Ah. Uh, well, we didn't get that, but that's fine. Yay! At least we didn't leave anybody behind, right? 
right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just, just want to make sure nobody got left behind. Okay, good. Hooray! For clarification, at the end of that cutscene, if you left Pikmin behind, there's going there's going to be a little Pikmin that runs up and is like, "No, don't leave me!" and then it gets eaten by that bulb orb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I now add yellow Pikmin to the list of discoveries. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls. Yeah, we already know about that. All right. We've only lost three in battle total, which is a lot better than previous. <laughs> yeah. Alley cat blue.